Gomez. Here, try this for your cold. It'll eat right through your sinuses. Thanks, Mama. I don't know what's come over me. I never get sick. Oh, it's probably just nerves. After all, it isn't every day a young man meets his bride-to-be for the first time. I've got an idea. Instead of this arranged marriage with Ophelia, why don't I go out on my own, find someone, and fall madly in love? What's the fun in that? Besides, arranged marriages are an Adams family tradition. We've been doing it for centuries, and there hasn't been a divorce yet. Just a few untimely deaths. Gomez, trust me. I always know what's best for my boys. <laughs> Strychnine. Special delivery. Let's hope it's a wedding gift. We could use some new vats. Hmm. Fragile. <laughs> back there. Better luck next time. I see you got a new crate. Isn't it a beauty? It's made from the cheapest pine available, so it splinters easily. See? Ooh, that must have hurt. So, how are things at MIT? Mama, MIT was three universities ago. Remember? They expelled me for blowing up the chemistry department. Oh, that. Some places will kick you out for anything. Fester, let's go outside and celebrate your return while the night is still damp. Good idea! Nice aim! Nice shot! Next time you should try hitting the ball. Sorry. I guess all this talk about marriage is affecting my game. Well, if you're having second thoughts, maybe you should talk to Mama. I tried. But she and Mrs. Frump have been planning this since they were children, playing with matches. <laughs> you know, Fester, Ophelia has a sister. We could make this a double wedding. Not me. I'm a bachelor for life. Besides, I promised the doctors at the asylum I'd never reproduce. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to make the best of it. Well, maybe Ophelia won't be as bad as I think. Four? Lady fingers. Oh, Lurch, I do hope Ophelia likes Gomez. Mm. Oh, I like what the boys have done with the window. Mm. That must be them. What is it, Mama? It's time to meet your new bride. <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> Eudora. Griselda. Where's Ophelia? Right behind me. My bags are in the car, and please, careful Moochie with the Gucci! Welcome! I don't think so. Well, you must be Gomez! I'm Fester. I'm Fester! Well, aren't you the comedian? I'm Ophelia! Nice to meet you. What was that? Oh, that's just my sister's cat. 
She likes things with claws. We brought Morticia along to be maid of honor. You remember Morticia? Of course. Welcome. Morticia Gomez, Gomez, Morticia. Morticia, it has such a dreary ring to it. Why, thank you. Whoa! Bet you didn't know I was a judo champ. No. But then again, I didn't know I had a slip disc either. Oh! Not only is Ophelia a black belt, she was student body president, head of the glee club, and class caterer. A real joiner. <laughs> What about you, Morticia? Are you a joiner, too? When socializing with others, it's best not to put glass in their iced tea. Cyanide is more effective. Good point. Now, Morticia, no one wants to hear about your antisocial tendencies. In fact, Morticia refused even to go to school. I had to teach her everything she knows. Math, science, organic poisoning. She aced her SATs and her postmortems. Blah, blah, blah. Come on, Gomer. It's Gomez. Gomez. Perfect. So, what do you want to do now? Go into a coma? Now, guess what? I have a surprise for you. You're leaving? I can't believe we both grew up with such oddball siblings. Yes, well, so where is Morticia? Oh, who knows? Probably off feeding her black widows or something. Now, close your eyes. Now open them. It's nice. What is it? Hello. Fabric swatches? Fabric swatches? What for? I'm redecorating this house from top to bottom. Why? This junky old furniture is so depressing. And the lighting in here makes everyone look so ghoulish. I know. It took us years to get it that way. Anyways, I figure we can replace these drab curtains with a paisley chintz, paint the walls a nice eggshell, and redo the entire... Listen, pedalhead. You're not laying one hand on this house. Excuse me, but isn't it time for your Freaks Are Us meeting? Now, I really think we could get a lot more light in here if we simply knocked out this wall. More light? Are you nuts? The next thing you're going to want to do is put in wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Oh, that reminds me. The carpet people should be here any minute to give me an estimate. Now, what do you think? Pile or shag? Mm -hmm. Gomez, do something now. I would, but every time I try to put my foot down, she... <clears throat> Excuse me, Ophelia? Mm -hmm. I, I have to go with Fester on this one. See what I mean? No. Lurch, I can't go back to school and leave Gomez in Ophelia's clutches. Who knows what she'll do? She's liable to turn him into a fine, upstanding citizen. That lunatic. <laughs> Let's get rid of her. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Her mom will kill us if we ruin her best hatchet. I know. Why don't we scare Ophelia off? We'll convince her that this place is a death trap. Then she'll slip on the eight balls, fall through the trap door, into a vat of hydrochloric acid. Ready? Ophelia! Oh, Ophelia! Ophelia! If you're looking for Ophelia... <laughs> ah! 
that was close. She's in the... Oh! Gomez! Gomez? Are you all right? Hey, Gomez! Nothing like a little hydrochloric acid to soothe your aching muscles, right? <laughs> Now, here's how it works. I tell Ophelia that there's a delivery for her at the front gate. She comes running out of the house, trips on the wire, which triggers the rope, drops the sack of flour on her head, and knocks her down the steps. Hello, Morticia. Gomez, you startled me. I like that. I see you discovered cousins Otis and Redding. Handsome, aren't they? But they fought like cats and dogs. Really? Yes. Otis always wanted to work on his tan, but Redding, he hated to go outside unless it was raining. I'm on Redding's side. I love the rain. You do? What about hurricanes, flash floods, and lightning storms? The shock of the bolt as it strikes your body. The tingle of your hair standing on end. The feel of electricity as it stops your heart. Gomez! Oh, there you are. Now, let's talk about the honeymoon. Honeymoon? Lurch, what happened to you? Ophelia. Hey, Ophelia! There's a delivery for you from Eames House of Vile. I mean, style. I'll get it. No! Gomez, wait! About the marriage, maybe we're pushing things a bit. I hate her, 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 I hate her. Nonsense. Ophelia and Gomez are perfect for each other. I hope you don't mind. I found these growing in your garden and noticed they were blossoming. I never knew roses could be so lovely. Morticia. Yes, Gomez. How about a walk? I love cemeteries. They're so gloomy. Unfortunately, your sister doesn't think so. She wants to build a pool here. A pool? Whatever for? I don't know. Something about swimming. I love Ophelia dearly, but she does have some rather strange ideas. Still, I'm sure she'll make a very good wife. For someone else, perhaps. Morticia, you're not engaged to anyone, are you? Me? No. Well, not yet. Mama's in the process of arranging my marriage to Vlad Adams. Your cousin, I believe. Cousin Vlad? A greater rake has never been born. Trust me, Morticia, he's all wrong for you. Well, I guess Mama hasn't met the right man for me yet. Well, maybe she hasn't. She just doesn't know it. <laughs> oh, well, c'est la vie. That's strange. All of a sudden, I feel a peculiar urge coming over me. Pardon? Morticia, that's French. Speak some more. Un, deux, trois, Toulouse, la trait, coup de bras, bourbon. It's not what it looks like. It isn't? I mean, it isn't. You see, Ophelia, Gomez was just kissing my arm as practice for when he's married. That's right. For when we're married. Married? Oh, I, so... I 
hope Gomez's heartfelt proposal puts your doubts about this union to rest. You can see for yourself he really loves Ophelia. <laughs> Hello, Morticia. Gomez. I suppose I should congratulate you now that your wedding's official. Oh, that. One train going west, the other going east. Destined never to cross paths again. <sighs> what if they were to crash head on? us together for eternity better still what if they were to go up together in a ball of fire here you take this and when the two trains reach that bridge where <laughs> feeling is coming over me again. Morticia, say something in French. Just one more time. Pourquoi? I don't know what I'm doing, but I can't help it. I could help it, but I don't want to. Morticia, I've been madly in love with you ever since the first moment I laid eyes on you. And I've been in love with you. <laughs> to put it in the garage before the neighbors see it? Wait, I've got it. Oh, Gomez, I've got china patterns for us to look at. Oh, no. She's flipped. Quick, we've got to get out of here. What are you two going to do? You're crazy about each other. I can't come between Gomez and Ophelia. It would break her heart. And I did give Ophelia my word that I'd marry her. Curse our Adam's family honor. Tragic, just tragic. In love with one woman, promise to another. Why, it's worse than Romeo and Juliet. Ooh. Fester, that's it. We'll do what Romeo and Juliet did. What did they do? Why, they committed suicide. Right. Morticia, let's put on these cement boots and go skydiving. What a wonderful idea. Oh, wait. I have a fear of heights. I know. We could throw ourselves to the hyenas. Good idea. Except I'm allergic to hyenas. I know. Why don't you both spontaneously combust? Excellent idea. I'll get the lighter fluid. What am I saying? Life would be no fun without you two around. You can't kill yourselves. Fister, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh, Gomez. What are we going to do? I know. Let's knock off Ophelia. Excellent idea. I'll get the rack. Go, Miss Fister. I don't want any harm to come to Ophelia. She is my sister, after all. And? You do like Ophelia, don't you? Well, it's not that she isn't a nice girl. She's sweet. And muscular. An angel. A doll. I just can't stand her. Well, why don't you tell her that? No, it might hurt her feelings. I've got it. Why don't we send her overseas to work in a sneaker factory? She might even get us a discount. Go, Mess, we can't do that. Fester's right. It wouldn't be fair to the other workers. Poor Ophelia. All she wants is to be married. I know just the guy. Cousin? It. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's too bad. Bye. That was the minister. One of his exorcisms went into overtime, so he has to put the wedding off another day. 
Well, at least he has a good excuse. <laughs> All these flowers, these new curtains, the paint. Griselda, your daughter is destroying my house. And look what she's done to Lurch. Will you two break it up? We have to introduce Cousin It to Witch Hilda. Don't. I mean, introduce Cousin It to the woman of his dreams. Cousin It, thanks for coming. Morticia, this is Cousin It. Cousin It, this is Morticia. Mr. It, please. We just met. That does it. Stop! That'll teach you to make a play for my Morticia, you long hair Lothario. Oh, miss. Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> you see, Cousin It said he was sorry. You want him to take Ophelia off your hands, don't you? You have to understand, when it comes to Morticia, I can't control myself. <laughs> Apology accepted. Besides, we invited you here to meet Morticia's lovely sister, Ophelia. There's nothing wrong with her. She's, uh, got a great personality. She's not fat. Cousin It, trust me, you're really going to like her. Isn't it beautiful? I wish I could wear a wedding dress every day. Please, Cousin It, give her a chance. Mother, do you think this wedding dress makes my ankles look thick? Not any more than the other 16 dresses you've tried on. <laughs> oh, aren't you an adorable little fur ball? Ophelia, <laughs> <laughs> I see you met Gomez's cousin It. He's quite charming, don't you think? Ah, those multi-millionaires. They do say the darndest things. I guess it's all that jet-setting around the world to all those star-studded parties that keeps the mind so razor-sharp. Multi-millionaires? Jet-setting? Go, man. You better be nice to me. Your cousin just might steal me away. <laughs> really? Don't worry, Gomez. I'll see to it that you and Ophelia get married if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Nothing like soaking in a bucket of electric eels to get the old circulation going. Right. That darn minister put off the wedding again. Apparently, he got roped into one of those cult ceremonies and has to marry 500 people. Well, as long as he hurries, I want to get this wedding over with so I can get started on Morticia and Vlad's. <laughs> You're marrying off Morticia to my nephew, Vlad Adams. Yep. Mr. Loverman Heavem. Uh-huh. People magazine shiftiest man alive. Well, what can I say? I have a real knack for matchmaking. <laughs> Cousin It and Ophelia really seem to be hitting it off these last few days. I know. Look how she holds him in her arms, gently bench-pressing him. Nothing says love like overhead lifts. I guess we should have told them about the quicksand. Well, I don't know about you, but I can't just stand here and watch them drown. You're right. Let's go get something to eat. Gomez, Fester. Rescue first. Sandwiches later. Okay. Blenders. Hmm. Where's the Cuisinart? Ooh, what's this? Hmm. Oh, Ming Vaz. Ophelia's friends sure have odd taste in wedding gifts. Oh, did I do that? Oops. Mama, I'm shocked. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Why didn't you tell me you were opening up wedding gifts? <laughs> Gomez, now that we're alone, tell me, do you, well, like Ophelia? Of course. I mean, other than the fact that I'm repulsed by Ophelia. Oh. Gomez, there you are. Listen, we need to talk. Couldn't we just write? Oh, come on, let's go somewhere more private. Good idea. I'll get Cousin Ed. He's still busy drying his hair from the quicksand. Besides, I want to talk to you alone. Whoa! I know that look on Ophelia's face anywhere. It's love. <laughs> I'm in love with your cousin, It. You are? Now, tell the truth. Would it be okay if I totally humiliated you by backing out of the marriage and dating your cousin? Oh, please. Humiliate me. I give you my blessing. And my future children's blessing. And their children's blessing. And their children's children's blessing. It? I have the most wonderful news. Shouldn't have put the dryer on high. Oh, trust me. Size doesn't matter. Anyway, as I was saying, I broke up with Gomez. The wedding's off. I know. Now I'm free to marry you. Hello? I said I'm free to marry you. In eight years, maybe. Either agree to marry me now or take a hike. Oh, man! Oh, Morticia. Ophelia broke off our engagement so she can marry Cousin It. Oh, Gomez. Now we're free to marry. And live unhappily ever after. Till death do us part. And even after that, oh, Gomez. Carida. Oh, yeah. I hate to break up this little love fest, but our marriage is back on. What about Cousin Ed? When I demanded a commitment, he fled. He's smarter than I thought. Besides, I now realize that arranged marriages are the only way to go. Ophelia, it's not so simple. Since you left me for Cousin It, Morticia and I, we've developed a fondness for one another. A deep fondness. Reality check. I just broke up with you 45 minutes ago. Ophelia, we're sorry. We can't help the way we feel. I see. Well, not to worry, Morticia. Leave it to me to know just what to do. Hello, Festa. Well, I guess no one was there. My turn. Vlad, what are you doing here? Never mind that. When are you leaving? <laughs> ah, cousin Festa, never a pleasure. <laughs> oh, Morticia, I couldn't stand to be away from you another moment. So I stopped in. I hope you don't mind. Mind? Hmm. Oh, Vladdy! Thank you for alerting me to the situation. You know me, always happy to help. Hmm, come, Morticia. We have so much catching up to do. All right, then. Gomez, I was thinking we could get a couple more of these for the flower garden. 
We don't have a flower garden. Oh, uh, we will when we get rid of that unsightly cemetery. So, Vlad, any mm. thoughts on where you and Morticia will go for your honeymoon? No, oh, I don't know. The craters of the Arizona? The abyss of the Manchuria? <laughs> oh, it really doesn't matter at this point. Any backdrop would merely be eclipsed by Morticia's radiance. Whoa! If only we could get married today. Then tomorrow we could wake up in each other's arms and greet the terrors of a new day. How about if you and Morticia get married right after Ophelia and Gomez? That's a splendid idea. I couldn't agree more. But, Mama, this is all so sudden. Why, we haven't even had time to invite guests or pick out a dress. Oh, it doesn't matter, Morticia. You could be in a white satin gown and you'd still be beautiful. A double wedding it is. Gomez. At last we're alone. Oh, Gomez. How can I marry Vlad when I'm in love with you? How can I marry Ophelia when all I want to do is chop her head off and use it as a rugby ball? If only cousin It hadn't run off. If only Vlad weren't here. <clears throat> Hello, Montisha. Cousin. Vlad, I don't know what to say. Except that we weren't expecting you. Obviously. Montisha, I love you. More than life and death itself. And I believe that in time, you will come to feel the same way about me. Over my dead body. Precisely. But in the meantime... Ouch! Oh, I'm sorry. Ouch! Cousin, I challenge you to a duel. Select your weapon. Gomez, you can't. Vlad's an expert marksman. Why, as a child, he had a summer job as an executioner. Hmm, there's where the days. Gomez, look, if you're not going to put your life on the line for Morticia, just say so. I'd climb the highest mountain. I'd swim in the deepest ocean. I'd go shopping in a mall. Mm. For more, Tisha. Good boy. All right, then. Back to back. Ten paces. May the best man die. One, two... Good nourishment. What a splendid idea. Well, I suppose you could have a last meal. Lurch, these look delicious. What's in them, hen brains? Mm. Morticia, Cousin Vlad choked on a toothpick. Oh. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Vlad Adams, may you rest in pieces. Come on, Gomez. Quit pushing. So, anyway, dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join this woman and this man in holy matrimony.
anyone has any reason why this woman and this man should not be joined in holy matrimony, say so now. Hey! Over here! Perhaps I should take a number. Well, since you're the bridegroom, I think you'd best go first. Uh, Ophelia, I have to be honest with you. I'm an... I'm unworthy of you. Yeah, yeah. But a promise is a promise. Anyone else? Do you, Ophelia Trump, take this man to be your awful, lawful wedded husband? but I get paid whether the ball game's rained out or not. Fear not. A wedding will be held this day. Oh. Carried. Oh. Will you marry me? I thought you'd never ask. <sighs> Let the ceremony begin. Morticia. That dress, it brings out the pallor of your skin, the blackness of your hair, the angles of your bones. It drives me wild. I'll never wear another. Mon cher. <gasps> Tisha, that's French. Morticia, are you sure you want to marry Gomez? After all, you've just met. You could be in for some nasty surprises. Why, mother? That is my fondest hope. 